Hey guys! So today, you and I are going to talk about... Mid-levels! So let's get into it. So the question in question was, Hi Frederick, do you have a definition for a mid-level software developer? Well, uh, I do. I have a definition for basically all the software developer types that are, that are common, you know, juniors, mid-levels, seniors, and so forth. Uh, I'm not going to say that, that's, that my definition is necessarily the best one or the most accurate one or so forth and so forth, but it usually is something that, to put it to put it uh, simply as, as I can, it's the definition that has most people agreeing with me most people that I talk to, both as other, like if you talk to tech leads or people who are working as seniors or engineering managers and things like that, they usually agree with this definition. But of course, it doesn't necessarily mean that it's the correct one. So basically, the way that I define, say, a junior software developer, is that a junior software developer is an investment for a team or a company. Basically, it is someone who cannot work without support. And that doesn't necessarily mean that they need help all the time, uh, but it does mean that you can't just put them on a project and then sort of expect them to do all the things. You have to provide them usually a partner of some sort with a bit more experience or something that is very simple for them to work with or something similar to that. That's the essence of it. And the reason why I think that definition is pretty accurate is because usually when you're dealing with someone who, because the the term junior in our, in you know, in software guys is basically a byword for person who doesn't know exactly what they're doing or person who will need help to do anything useful a person who will cost time and money from something that's the general consensus among people in the industry that doesn't mean that just because you're a junior doesn't mean that you know you can't do anything by yourself and so forth it's just a general definition that people most of the time agree with so when people say that I'm not hiring juniors what they're really saying is usually that I need someone who can produce I need someone who I can just give a job to and then produce that's generally at the very least what I find people saying and that brings us, of course, to the mid-levels. So a mid-level software developer I define as an individual who can work independently, but but only with minor support. Usually it's someone, this is the sweet spot usually for most of the industry. People are more inclined to hire mid-level because they know that, you know, they might not know every single little thing that comes around, but they do know enough to produce value for the company without a lot of assistance. It's less of a risk, uh, they're more productive, etc., etc., which, just, of course, is not also necessarily true all the time. But that's the general idea, and this is where it actually is very difficult to distinguish between... Uh, most people, I argue, are, are mid-levels today, even though they call themselves seniors. Uh, because the definition is that loose. I mean, if you're an experienced mid-level, that is very close to being a senior software developer in many cases, but there is a slight difference between the two, and that will hopefully become apparent once uh, we talk about the uh, senior experience definition. But the basics of mid-level is, as I said, you can basically do most things by yourself. I can give you a story, I can give you a task, you will figure it out, or maybe you get some minor help, but overall you're going to be fairly autonomous and work independently, just as long as you get some direction. That is the general, in my opinion, definition. And then of course we come to the seniors, and the definition, this is where it becomes absolutely the most loose, I argue, the definition I use is that when you are a senior software developer, you can solve most tasks completely without help, and you can provide coaching and support to others. Now, that's of course something a junior can do, that's something that a mid-level can do, etc., etc., but the idea behind hiring a senior for most companies is that this is, a, is one of the individuals who can basically run the team if necessary. They can figure out things that are without 
outside of their sphere of understanding if need be because they've been doing this for long enough that they can do that an example would be if uh, you hire a back-end developer you sort of expect that a senior level software developer will have the know-how to figure out how to do you know work with the deployment pipeline even if they, that's not something they do on a daily basis or a front-end developer should if a senior front-end developer should know how to configure their own webpack uh, or something like setting up build pipelines or so forth for their project because that is the reality of uh, of what you have to be able to do in order to ship say front end code or back end code or so forth and so forth it's an individual who has lived enough to and worked for long enough to know all the surrounding things apart from the coding a mid level usually doesn't know this mid levels are very still still f sort of tied into just the coding part or just their sphere of uh, like whatever area they they are specializing in but a senior usually has a much deeper understanding and more experience so you can trust that as long as that person is in the team even if it's not exactly clear how everything works they're going to figure it out and they're usually as I like to call it they're an insurance policy that the project will progress basically it's the sort of individual that you've put in charge more or less uh, so that you can feel safe in that things are going to happen and so forth and so forth. So what I want you to take away from this is that my very general definition of the different types of developers, juniors, mid-level seniors, and usually you'll, if you ever work with me when it comes to hiring or things like that, you'll usually hear me say things such as, I would put this person at a low mid-level to junior level, or like it's a late stage mid-level to roughly early senior level. It's because I treat it as a range, guys. You can always, you know, see nuances to things because no one is like solid usually across every single area you could interview for for every single position it's usually a range but in general terms a junior level software developer is an individual who can't really work autonomously they usually need a lot of help they don't just need you know you can't just give them a story and then say go and fix it you will have to give them a story and very often you will need to sit and pair program with them or help them debug their code sometimes or things like that they need support basically and an individual like that you don't want to just put on a project alone that that's, I think, not a good idea in general. It's not just a bad idea for the company, it usually is a bad idea for the person in question as well, because it can be very stressful as a, to be a junior to begin with. Mid-level definition is usually someone who can work fairly independently, but usually needs some support with uh, certain areas or so forth. This is the sweet spot where most software developers are today, and you can be at different levels here, but on average you should be able to work fairly autonomously deal with most story cards by yourself and um, you might have questions every now and then and so forth but uh, it should not in general be the case that you're sitting with some other person on a fairly daily basis to just debug your own code uh, then you're in the mid-level range usually um, I would say and senior is basically the person who knows more or less everything uh, it's the individual that you hire to coach other developers it's the individual who is most uh, experienced uh, and from but not just about ex it's just not just about experience within say in a single area within the development process it is experience with the overall development process because when you hire a senior you're trying to buy an insurance policy that the project will meet success and that you will deliver on time or so forth and so forth it's the it is the highest level within if we talk about just this general concept that you can achieve as a software developer uh, without going into something more advanced than leadership and so forth but in essence it's just the person who knows enough to figure basically anything out without needing any help uh, it's very rare that they will ask for help from somebody else if it's not like rubber ducking or getting a second opinion or sharing thoughts but it's you're you're not going to uh, you, you you will meet uh, quite a few seniors but the way that you see if they're real seniors is usually if they have a bigger and greater understanding of the entire development process rather than just some little area and they usually need help to just figure out these sorts of basic things if that's the case you're probably not dealing with a senior have a great day